Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. And yes, the title is correct. It happened. It's happening, actually. I'd put the dancing crabs in, but apparently that's copyrighted. So I can't do it. So just imagine the crab rave going on right now. So, yeah. Deadeye is kill. Deadeye is no more. Deadeye has been nerfed so hard, it is being removed from the game. And, look, if, if I had, you know, my words, I'd eat them. Because I, I, I did not think they'd do it. So, bravo, devs. I just want to say right now, bravo, guys, for correcting this mistake and removing the Deadeye skill. And some more information has been released along with that. Along with, well, what's replacing Deadeye. And some information about some other skills, which we are going to dive into right now from this dev blog that was released on Friday, which is a very unusual dev blog. Most of these are released on Thursday. And we were told about, what is it, six, seven weeks ago that we were four weeks or five weeks out from um, information about changes to commander skills. So only a week or two off from uh, whoever released that information. I believe it was on the, uh, the Russian dev stream. But anyways, let's go ahead and dive right into this dev blog. Link to it is in the description down below if you want to read along as I read aloud. So here we go. ST.10.4 changes to commander skills. We talk about the first changes in the updated commander in the up We talk about the first changes in the updated commander system and share our future plans. Please note that all, all information in the dev blog is preliminary. Announced adjustments and features may change multiple times during testing. The final information will be published on our game's website. Commanders, we thank you for your feedback, which, together with the statistics collected, helped us identify directions for improving the skill system. We want to tell you about the first planned changes and about the further stages of the development of the commander skill system. In update 10.4, we plan to make the following balance changes. Cruiser skills, survivability expert. The hit point bonus for each ship tier has been increased from 350 to 450. The enhanced skill has increased its hit point bonuses from 400 to 500. Destroyer skills. Extra heavy AP shells. Damage of main battery AP shells increased from 5 to 7.5%. Which actually may make up for the nerfs that were given out to a lot of the uh, new German DDs yesterday. Hmm. Fearless Brawler. Remove the penalty to the ship's detectability. Alright, my Kaparovska is smiling from here. Not that it really cares about being detected, but it's nice to know I can run away a bit better. Aircraft Carrier Skills. Enhanced Reactions. The 25% penalty to the action time of the patrol fighters or interceptor, or interceptor consumables has been replaced with a 25% bonus. So that's um, a, a huge buff to that skill, it sounds like. All right, battleship skills, super heavy AP shells, damage of main battery AP shells increased from 5 to 7.5 percent, fire extinguishing time and flood recovering time reduced from 30 to 25 percent. You're still not going to get anybody to slap that on their battleship. I'm sorry, no battleship main is going to take another 25 percent burn time to their battleship to get just. Two and a half, well, 7.5% more damage out of their AP shells. It, it simply isn't worth it. Here we go. Deadeye. Skill change to Swift and Silence. Increases your ship's speed by 10% while she remains undetected. We strengthened the foregoing skills as they were conceded to other skills of similar cost in terms of combat effectiveness, which also affected their popularity. We decided to replace Deadeye with a skill that enhances the battleship's positioning capabilities. Swift and Silence will allow battleships to quickly enter the battle or change positions during the battle. With the release of 10.4, all commanders who have learned Deadeye will have battleship skills reset for free. Skills of other classes won't be reset. Further steps, the next skill changes are not planned until autumn. As improvements and reworks take time to develop and test, we will work to balance a number of skills and try to improve or replace the most unpopular skills. Over the last few updates, we have been collecting statistics and feedback on how the updated skills have affected the game balance. After the changes in 10.4, we plan to focus on the state of individual ships most affected by the skill system update and make changes if needed. We're planning a free skill reset for all players as part of the second phase changes expected in autumn. 
Okay, so some very good reassurance and confirmation on some things going forward here from the devs. So, before we get talking about Deadeye, there is going to be another round of free skill resets for everybody around Autumn. That's very good. Um, and that they are, of course, taking action to change the ships as well, from what it sounds like here. And I do hope, if you're listening, Wargaming, that you give the old secondary ships at least the accuracy that the Germans get right now. I'm talking about, of course, Shikishima, um, Siegfried, ships that had decent secondaries before, but were absolutely ripped of the ability to build into those builds efficiently. Like, you can build into a Shikishima secondary build right now, but the dispersion is worse than shotgun. It, 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 it is. It's not worth the extra range because I can't hit a DD eight kilometers away from my Shikishima, let alone 11 or 12, you know? So I do hope those changes come in autumn and we are allowed to build into that build. And again, I find it hilarious that the point of the commander rework was to increase build diversification when with Deadeye, we mostly got one build for battleships. But as we're seeing here, this is being removed. Okay, so Deadeye is going bye-bye, which is going to bring much joy to my heart when 10.4 comes. Uh, 10.4 should be arriving sometime around um, late May, I believe, because 10.3, I believe, is dropping next week. So we only have to put up with Deadeye for another five weeks after that, which, hey, it, since I know it's going... I mean, that's, that's, I can do that. I can do that for sure. Now, the skill replacing Deadeye is equally as interesting. We're getting Swift and Silence, which is quite the bonkers skill on something like Paulo Emilio, which you should have seen my lovely little run there in, in her at the start of this video, where you can get that shit up to like 60 knots now with Swift and Silence, with the engine boost going, of course. So this is, of course, going to greatly benefit ships like um, Georgia, who I think can get up to like 45 or 46 knots now, which is just mental. <laughs> um, Bergon, Alsace, any of the fast battleships, you know, uh, Jean Bar, um, Iowa, Bismarck, that'd be pretty funny getting them up. But of course, it's, it's only when they're undetected. So that should give them... You know, some additional maneuverability and some, and some additional method to disengage from an unfavorable situation and run away. And also get to a good position before you get spotted. Now, of course, carriers are, are going to you know, absolutely ruin this, but mm, I just thought about, thought about this too. Italian battleships, when they have their um, exhaust smoke up, they're undetected, so they, they'll be able to disengage very well now. That's interesting. I didn't even think about that beforehand. But I think it's a good change. Now, I also have a feeling that the Swift and Silent skill might be kind of a placeholder while they maybe work on, you know, another skill to replace Deadeye with. And I'm trying to not understate how big of a change it is that they are just outright removing the skill. Like, they aren't trying to nerf it a little bit. Like, I thought they were going to nerf it by like 2%. You know, every couple of months to just dial it down to like 5% where I thought it would actually be a much better place for the skill because a 5% boost to your dispersion, it's enough to where if you have a ship with good dispersion like the Shikishima or the, or the Yamato with the modules that can build into decreasing dispersion, that it's a nice little buff you can get too on top of, you know, the modules and the already good accuracy of the ship, but not enough to where you could get ships like Kremlin getting Slava dispersion like it can right now with Deadeye. And it may even encourage battleships to get a little bit closer because you can reach those favorable positions a little bit faster, especially again with those fast battleships. And I, and I, and I guess Vermont can go, you know, what, 25 knots now for, what, the first four minutes of the match and then be stuck at 20 knots for the rest of the match. But yeah, it's it's a good change, of course, in my mind. And the other changes, too, none of them are too severe. Um, and the extra heavy AP shells for the, for the DDs, it's really interesting to see them get buffed up just after the 
some of the German DDs, the new split, got their AP shells decreased a little bit in terms of, of damage, so that may be why they did that. But this is what we're probably going to hear for the rest of the... Well, until autumn at least, is all we're going to hear until autumn, according to this at least. But I am glad that they, first off, you know, gave us these changes. And it did take a little bit while longer than I, and I'm sure many of you, would have liked to see these changes come out. But the important thing is that they did do it. They, they are removing Deadeye, which, again, I didn't even think they were going to do it. So that's a big step in the right direction here. And of course, the ideal thing that I would like to see is that, you know, the secondary, the manual file for secondary skill gets removed and we get the old one back that gives us a 60% boost while, you know, negating the firing ability of the opposite side. And if they did that, then it would be like, okay, perfect, thank you. But of course, there are other skills that do need their attention too. And like I said, we'll see how this goes. We're going to be stuck with this set of skills and these changes after 10.4 until all the way through until autumn so the end of the summer so we will see what happens then and of course as always i am very happy that deadeye is no more so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below during the video make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel we're on the way now to 25,000 subs just past 23,700 a few days ago and i can't thank you guys enough for that hope you guys are having a wonderful saturday Hope to catch you guys in the next one.